The Peats is an extremely versatile oscillator that has tons of pizzazz and flavor. It has phase modulation, wave folding, and ring modulation which can make all sorts of great sounds like these. can be broken up into several bits. We have the tuning controls here up on top, the FM controls here in the middle, and the wave shaper here on the bottom. This slider is one of the most important controls in the module. It affects the amount of modulation applied to the main oscillator. When it's in the middle, there's no modulation applied. As we move to the right, we incorporate octave oscillator modulation. And as we move to the left, we incorporate ratio oscillator modulation. This knob here is the attenuverter that controls the FM index port. So if we feed control voltage to this port, we can manipulate how the FM index is being used. This button allows us to select among four octaves for the octave oscillator. And this button allows us to select among four frequency ratios for the ratio oscillator. Pizza allows us to set the ratio for each of these four banks. We first cycle the bank with this button here, then long press it until the blue light comes on, and then use the pitch knob to alter the ratio. When the octave light is flashing, we're altering the numerator, and when the D2 knob is flashing, we're altering the denominator. When we get something we like, we just click this button again, and it saves into that bank. By default, the tuning knob is in octave mode, and it determines the octave of the main oscillator. In detune mode, it's going to detune the ratio oscillator or the octave oscillator from the main oscillator. So we're not going to hear any of the changes unless we have the FM index slider off center. If we long press this button, a little red light comes on. And we can fine tune the main oscillator either by semitones or from a small pitch sweep. If we press this button for a super long time, like longer than 4 seconds, we get free tune mode. And we just long press it again to get out of it. The shape slider here has three different parameters that it manipulates and those parameters are chosen by cycling this button. For all three of the parameters, the slider is at the zero value in the middle. And as you move to the extremes, we hear the effects. In wave mode, the slider controls the wave shape of the octave and ratio oscillators. That means we have to move the index slider again if we want to hear the changes. We have a square wave on the left that transforms into a sine wave. Then we get some triangle-ish stuff. And then finally a sawtooth all the way right. The fold mode applies wave folding to the main output, and there are two different algorithms that we can utilize. To the left we get more of a harsh, overdriven, grungy sound. And to the right, we get a nasally, whistly, bright tone that also sounds like it's jumping through partials. The ring mode incorporates ring modulation between the main oscillator and either the ratio or octave oscillators, but we don't have to have the index slider on either side to have this function work. Ring modulation with the ratio oscillator is to the left, and with the octave oscillator to the right. So if we put the ring function left and the index function right, then we get both modulating oscillators working on our wave. And that can sound awesome like this. The control knob here is assignable to any parameter. We assign it by long clicking this button and cycling it. The blinky parameter is the one that we're choosing. We just press it again and boom, it's being controlled. If the ring and fold LEDs are blinking together, we have a bipolar VCA that affects the main and octave oscillator outputs. If all three are flashing, then we have a built-in attack and decay VCA, triggered by the sync port. To the left we have slower attacks and longer decays. 
In the middle we have blips. And to the right we get fast attacks and longer decays. That's it for this lightning fast run through. The pizza is free on the VCV Rack library page, so download it while it's hot and ready. If you like this kind of stuff, check out my other content. Huge shout out to Tom for the continued support. Thanks so much, dude, I really appreciate it. Shout out to all my other supporters as well. Okay, bye bye.